Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Satisfactory. This is episode number 12. Last episode, we unlocked the manufacturer, which are these big machines right there. And now we can craft things from up to four ingredients. And at the end of that episode, I said what we might do next is unlock fuel generators because we have so many machines all around the world that if they're all running at once, we are going to be seriously over capacity. We would be falling like... Somewhere between two to three giga gigawatts, wiggle 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 watts. But uh, this game turns out the machines are pretty good about shutting themselves down when they're not being actively used. This base is not all running all at once, and so we're only actually pulling about one giga jiggle wiggle watt out of our 3.4. That's our capacity. I remember. We're only pulling that much at any one time, and so instead of doing that, I've changed my mind. I've altered the deal. Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to unlock the final tier of technology that is currently in the game as of this date, of the Satisfactory being at currently update number three. There's seven tiers, and there's one left. We have not unlocked episode... episode? We have not unlocked tier seven. And that's what all that stuff right there is. That's all the machines we're going to need to craft the things to unlock the thing. I also made a sulfur outpost. That's why the paint job is like this. We'll get to that in a minute. First, what we got to do is we... I don't know if this is going to work, actually. I didn't test this. Oh, let's go for this one. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, ooh, ha. Oh, perfect. Easy. Easy game. So, similar to the last time, we unlock some tech tiers. The machines over there are going to be temporary, and they're not connected up to the main base, because once we're done unlocking the tech tier, we don't need those items we're about to craft ever again. They're only used for unlocking through the space elevator. So we need to ferry some items over. Last thing I was waiting for to craft are those steel beams. And that's done now, so we can ferry those over. We can plug everything in, and it should take, uh, I don't know, a few hours for everything to to craft and we can work on other things while that's while that's happening just uh move all right along over no big deal and our trusty little golf cart the most efficient method of transportation known to mankind although i don't know maybe the animals some of the animals might have something better up their sleeve let's just get like right up oh, here we go and then over here and oh wait hang on That's one of those slugs, and they emit poison mist. They almost killed me last episode. Okay, hang on. I have an idea. All right. This ought to do the trick. Gas mask. Double click. Approach with caution. I don't. I don't think I actually. Do I have to breathe heavy? Maybe not. It's humming. Okay, but it. We appear to have suppressed the poison gas because I'm not dying. Aha. Okay. So turns out the gas mask works to counter the slug poison. Fantastic. All right, let's get to work here. We have a lot of stuff to do. In fact, I should probably dump all these materials. Let's put all my stuff into this guy. So let's say store all. And take the steel back out. Gas mask. Ooh, did we run out? Oh, because... Oh, my filters! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Quickly. Whew. Okay, that was close. That was close. Let's grab... Steel from here, we need 15,000 steel beams, so we're going to need multiple storage containers. We'll start with this one. Then the other ingredient we need for this guy are these, the modular frames. We've got some storages here, and behind them, some containers. All right, computers. We started making those last episode. Heavy modular frames, we started making those last episode. And then... Uh, these guys, 
Circuit boards. That's three out of the four ingredients. The fourth ingredient we have to make. And that's going to take a ridiculous amount of cable. And besides the cable, let's do this one first. We will also need some stators. Motor rotor stator. Motor rotor stator! Okay, there's that guy. Now I gotta insert 15,000 cable into these guys. So that takes care of the bottom floor. Then up top, we have some more storages to fill up. And then once that's done, we can plug the whole thing in and watch it work. Over here, we've got reinforced iron plates. Those go in here. I've got some leftovers of the cable and the modular frame. I'm going to have to circle back around once we've got the thing turned on. That was uh, Those were rotors. And we'll have to top off these storages. The storages aren't quite enough. There's not enough space, I guess. And then this guy is some motors. And we will put him in this guy. Let's plug everything in, if I can remember. Oh. Okay, just double checking. I still got it on. So we don't die of poison. Here we go. This guy plugs into that. The cables and the stators are making, I think that's automated wiring, and that's getting combined with computers and the big frames and the circuit boards, and that is making the, um, whatever it's making, it's making the thing that it's making, which is the adaptive control unit, which we, I think we just unlocked that last episode. There's the normal modular frames and the steel beams, and these are making, I think, the versatile, not so versatile frameworks. Up top, we've got the reinforced iron plate and the rotors. Those are getting made into smart plating. And that smart plating gets combined with rubber and motors to make some modular engines. And there we go. All three items are on the belt and getting fed into the space elevator. And a few hours later, this should be done. So the first thing I want to work on while all that stuff is crafting is one of the research trees we haven't dived into yet, and that is the sulfur tree. If we look for sulfur nearby, there is a sulfur node. It's back there, and it is close enough to where our coal is being produced, which is right around the corner here, that I decided to go ahead and make our gunpowder right on the spot because it makes it a little bit more compressed and we don't really need sulfur for anything else just yet. So we've got a factory here making gunpowder from our sulfur and from the coal. All kinds of sulfur that's ping-pinging me from around the map. But we're combining the coal and the sulfur and we're getting black powder, not gunpowder, but close enough. And now you see the significance of the colors of the base for this episode because it uh, it matches the thing we're about to research. So I've got it being stored up here. Let's just grab a ton of it and take it back to the base and do a little bit of research. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, I did it! First research, 50 sulfur. Think I have enough. Three seconds. Volatile applications. The analysis is complete. We've unlocked rifle cartridges. The rifle. Nobilisk explosives and a detonator. Awesome. Three minutes, three seconds. Three minutes, three seconds. And it's finished. Good. Down at the bottom, what's here? We've got five inventory slots. Let's do this one first, because I have the stuff. Expanded tool belt, one hand slot. Three minutes. Analysis complete. Check mark. Last one. Three more minutes. All right, let's give them a try. So, rifle. Put it there. And then detonator, put it there. Whoa. 
Okay. Looks empty. Let's load it up. It looks like a caulking gun, which is probably intentional. Nice. Oh, that's so much better than that other one. Wow. Okay, what about this guy? Plus R to reload. Okay, I have it. Um, I don't want to blow it up. I want to toss it. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. Reload again. I'm just... What do I do? Right-click to explode it. Bam! Yeah! Nice! And if we check the space elevator, I think we're ready. Yep, I think we're ready. We're indeed ready. Let's load up the package, seal it up, send it off. Let's unlock the last tier of tech. From the tech tree for the milestones for the hub for the space elevator. Bam, there it goes. So let's check out what we just unlocked in the hub. Tier seven, bauxite refinement, which is aluminum conveyor belt mark five. And some scanner updates for something we already have. Aluminum scrap, aluminum ingot. All right, cool. And we also got uh, access to miner mark three, turbo motors, heat sinks, batteries, high tech stuff. The, uh, the hazmat suit. Okay, very handy. Nuclear power. Oh. Wow, I bet those things are huge, judging from the size of the, uh, the, the ports. Or the pipes and the belts on that little thumbnail. Uranium. I guess we'll have a use for sulfur, finally. Electromagnetic control rod. Encased uranium cell. Uranium pellet. Yada, yada, yada. All right, that's all pretty cool. We still have a few things left from tiers 4 and 5 and 6. Some trains and the fuel generators, which we might just skip past for nuclear power, now that we're at this point. Jetpack. Hmm. That gives me an idea. All right, there we go. Jetpack researched. R and D inflated your pocket dimension and has nice. a jetpack, which operates on oil. Look at all my storage space. Navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Excellent. All right, well, turns out we need fuel, which is made from oil to fuel our jetpack, and we need a way to package that to keep it in our inventory, and so we need to unlock another thing. We need some alternative fuel transport, which will get us the package fuel option there. So, here we go. Click, 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 click all the things, and hit the button. Bam! Milestone reached. Milestone Buildings reached. Can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belt. Nice. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. Oh, okay. So over here where we are processing oil, I've set up a little spot for some packaged fuel. This guy right here is a refiner. It's going to make some fuel from our residual fuel. As soon as I power this guy up, we've got the residue coming from our plastic production. We also need the plastic to make the canisters right there. And I set up a power pole, which is right there. And we'll just plug it into the nearest guy, which is that one. Okay, empty canisters from plastic. That is simple enough. And the oil residue from our plastic is going to get turned into fuel. That's happening. And those two get combined in a separate uh, oil refinery dude. And... Then we should have some package fuel coming right out of here in just a minute. Well, I guess we need to get enough fuel. We don't need a ton of this stuff. I just want enough to uh, fiddle around with my backpack. My jet pack, which is on my back. So it's a jet backpack. Jet pack back. There we go. Oh, there it is right there. It's going to go into a storage guy right there. I only want a couple. Here we go. Jet pack. Looks like a uh, microscope a little bit. Okay. Ah. Jazz hands. Huh. 
All right, that's okay. We can probably think of a better way to test it, though, than just doing this. This is how we test out our new gear. What? We live in a simulation? Oh, you can't trust anything? But it's a perfect 10. Those rocks, they appear to have quite a few fractures. I wonder, with our new explosives, what would be to happen if we were to try to explode them? Let's find out. I think we're going to need, uh, I don't know, several explosives? Maybe that many? Maybe one more. And a jetpack test. Yes! That's right! That's how you test a jetpack! Oh. I thought there would be a cave. Instead... I came prepared anyway, though. No cave? Oh, I don't have any... Where did my filters go? Oh, okay, we can't approach him. S somehow I ended up losing my filters. Kablooey! <laughs> oh, we've got some more skitter bots. All right, I need to refuel. Another test. There you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, I hear more. Although it might just be sound effects. I think the environment itself makes these sounds to creep you out. Which uh, is working. It's definitely working. I don't see anything up here. All right, let's test the jetpack once again. Never mind. Yep. Alley oop. Okay. Got him. Well, sort of. Maybe he's just got more health. I just, I just lay out an entire field, buddy. I don't care. I don't mind. Oh, I blew up myself. <laughs> Okay, let's do one last little test for the jetpack. This is obviously testing the capabilities of the jetpack. Here we go. Hey, little buddy. Smile. You're on camera. Yes. Oh, I think this jetpack is a success. A huge success. I think that about wraps up this episode rather nicely. We unlocked a bunch of stuff. We researched a bunch of stuff. We built a bunch of stuff. We unlocked the final tier of technology. We got a jetpack. We got a rifle. We got some explosives. And we tested them. But that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.